Quarter acre in Clearbrook, Minnesota. This is located in Clearwater County, Minnesota, up in northern Minnesota. Um, my name is Miles McLaughlin here at Wilco Land. What we do is we buy and sell raw land. That's our specialty. That's our niche. In this video, I'm going to go over a lot of FAQs I get on these properties. I'm going to um, go through my due diligence, what I've learned about the property through the process of buying it, um, and talk a little bit more about how you can go do your own viewings for this property. So just kicking this video off, just like every other, other one of my videos with a disclaimer, this isn't real estate advice. This isn't legal advice. You as a buyer need to conduct your own due diligence and make sure the property is going to be the right fit for you. Um, us at Wilco Land, we sell all of our property as is. I am happy to help with your due diligence, steering in the right direction, tell you what I know about the property um, through my own due diligence, but you as a buyer, you'll need to confirm that it's gonna be the right fit for you. So um, just getting started here, this is gonna be you know just a classic residential um, property here in Clearbook, Minnesota. Um, I look at properties like this as great long-term investments, great spots if you wanna build someday. Um, you can do a lot with it, but it is gonna be geared towards development or building. So. Um, when it comes to utilities, there are there is city water and sewer, um, and then power is right there too. So um, just know you do have city utilities you can hook up to for this property. You can see the road. It looks like the road's been recently done. That's a really great sign. Um, you know the city's working on the road and putting a new road in that typically signals um, potential growth um, and just it looks like a really nice city just overall. When we look at aerial imagery, some of the neighboring properties have nice homes. Um, like I said, it looks like a pretty nice. Um, area overall for an investment. The next thing I want to show you is just where the property is located on a map. Um, I'm using simply using the GPS coordinates right out the list, right outside the listing here. I'm just copying and pasting these coordinates right here um, to pull the property up on Google Maps. So when you go view raw vacant land, you're going to want to use the GPS coordinates. A lot of times they don't have an address. So we're just northeast of Fargo, just east of Grand Forks, up here in northern Minnesota. You've got a um, couple of big lakes up here, Lower Red Lake and Upper Red Lake. And again, you're right around, you know, Itasca, Park Rapids, Leech Lake. Um, so there's a lot of hunting and recreation. Detroit Lakes is down here to the south. So again, it's a popular, Bemidji's right here with a college. So it is a popular area, um, you know, for, for fishing, for hunting, for recreation and things like that. So um, when I think about potential uses here, could it be an Airbnb or a rental? Could it be a long-term buy and hold in Minnesota? These are all reasons why people buy land. So again, just zooming in here, we're right off Main Street on Jensen Avenue here in Clearbrook, Minnesota. Like I said, it looks like a nice little town. You can actually hop on street views and take a look at what the property looks like on street views as well. Um, so this is our lot cleared, ready for development. Um, kind of like we talked about um, then the neighboring property there. Um, I don't know if that house is still there, just based on aerial imagery. We'll take a look here. I believe this is our lot. I'd have to get rearranged, but, um, or no, it should be this one. Um, let's see here. One of those two. We'll have to get on, we'll get on satellite imagery and look. So um, this is what satellite imagery looks like. Again, you've got that nice home there. You've got another nice home there too. So, um, just kind of looking at the town of Clearbrook, the property's fat, flat. Like I said, um, it does have city utilities and and is you know primarily geared towards residential development. When it comes to what you can do, um, take a peek at the zoning. It's residential. Um, I've got the zoning information right here. You can click to view that and go to the county website here. Um, you know, if you have more questions, call the county. If you have specific ideas of what you want to do with the property, just give them a call. Hey, I'm looking at a property. Um, you know, I want to know if you can do X, Y, or Z or, or how that process works. So. Um, and then lastly, I want to show you guys my favorite app for land viewings. Again, you're just going to copy and paste the GPS coordinates. I use what's called Onyx Maps. And all you do is plug in the coordinates here. And it'll bring up the property. And you can zoom in here and see that, um, you know, it's cleared like we talked about. And you can see the property located right here. It looks like you can access this alley in the back too, to access the property as well as Jensen Avenue Northwest there. So... You know, that's our size. We've got a quarter acre property here in Clearbrook, Minnesota. So I don't have a lot else to say on the property. I do like Onyx Maps for viewings because you can see the property lines. Otherwise, you're looking for, you know, natural identifying features like this tree line right here would be the east side of the property. Um, and then, you know, maybe on the west side, it's right on the edge of this tree right out here. That's the west side of the property. So then the back of the property abuts that. Then you got the front of the property up here, too. So. 
that's what we've got. I've got some other land deals in Minnesota if you're in the market. I've got 40 acres up in northern Minnesota adjacent to Voyagers National Park. I've got some property in Aitken, Minnesota along the Mississippi River. So just take a peek at the website. Um, you'll find a, a variety of different land investments. And like I said, give us a call if you have questions. You can reach me here at 605-299-5553. Thanks.